Uh, hello, uh, we are going to do another tutorial today. This one is going to be about uh, some new line functions. Actually, well, you'll see. And also a whole lot about the select functions. Uh, this is leading up to the next tutorial, which has to do with uh, hatching. Uh, but basically, I ran out of time trying to do it all in one tutorial. Okay, we're at the main menu right now. You see I've already started up uh, and did quite a bit of drawing. Everything is just, nothing is really to scale. I'm just drawing shapes and stuff. I have two layers, one of which I, is zero, and it's the default, it's black. And then I have a red layer. And you'll see why it, I, I just did two. The scale is in millimeters, and... Uh, that right there, a line, is at 20 millimeters, so you got an idea of what the scale is. It really doesn't matter on this, uh, this particular tutorial. Okay, we're going to talk about line functions. First, there's this new function here called polylines, and I'm going to do some with it. Uh, and I create a polyline, put it on free positioning. And the biggest thing about a polyline is that if you go back to delete, it's basically drawn as a, a, a block. So if you delete it, it deletes the whole block. There are some other functions in there with polyline, uh, how you can change what they call nodes. You can add nodes and you can have uh, delete nodes out of the middle of the line. And so that connects two opposite lines together. Uh, I have not seen a lot of use for that, but I thought I'd bring it up. Okay, now we're going to get into the meat of this tutorial. We're going to go to the line menu, and you'll see that there's a couple of different new lines here. One of them is the uh, poly, or the rectangle. So if I draw a rectangle, uh, all I do is draw the two opposite corners, and it draws the rectangle. There is a little... Th detail about that. We'll be talking about that in a minute. Okay, we also have some polygons and there's the polygon with center and you see that I've got now set up for five edges. Uh, when I draw that, you draw the uh, center of it and then it draws me a perfect pentagon. Uh, and if I go back, do that again, I set this to 7. Uh, now it will draw a 7-sided polygon, and I'm not, I'm not real sure what the name of that is. If I were to have drawn a line there, I could actually make these two concentric. Uh, right now it's just a guess. Okay, the other kind of polygon you can draw is this one with two corners. And I want to show you something. Uh, it didn't this number up here, the number of edges, is different than the number of edges on the previous one. And uh, so it didn't carry over my 7. It picked 6, which is what it was the last time I did it. On this one, you draw a corner, and then you draw the second corner, and then it finishes it up. I used that one time uh, playing with angles as if uh, I was going to build a gazebo. Uh, and that was back at one of my uh, one of my posts on my blog where I was talking about the way that sides things get bigger <laughs> as you cut pieces of wood at angles. Okay, uh, now we're going to go to the select function, and uh, I'm going to pretend that we're going to move things. So I'm going to choose the move function. We're not actually going to go that far. And first thing I want to point out is that actually these polygons are a series of lines. They're not blocks. Uh, so when you select it, you have to select each and every individual side if you're going to do something with it. Second thing I want to point out about the uh, select function, and someone pointed this out to me in a comment to one of my tutorials, and that is uh, Control-K. 
uh, deselects everything and that's really handy sometimes so remember control K uh, there's probably other hidden quick commands in uh, LibreCAD but I don't know them yet I uh, played with it one time I think I found one other one but I can't remember what it was okay on the select menu up here you got deselect all which is the same as control K you also have a select all and that's pretty obvious what it does it selected everything and that's a handy way to delete the whole screen at one time uh, you got select entity and deselect entity uh, and I'm not real sure where select entity is um, that's embarrassing that's the one I'm using all the time I guess it's just by default that you got select entity um, but the one that I use real often is select a window and there's two little there's a little trick with that if I select window I need to do select window not deselect window and that's that one right there okay if I select window and I go from left to right anything that's completely enclosed in that window gets selected anything that's partially enclosed does not so you see it selected those two outer ones but if I do a deselect or a select window and I go from right to left if I just touch a line it gets selected so you see it selected these two here even though they were not completely enclosed so it's real important to uh, remember whether you're going left to right or right to left okay um, another one that they have we'll do a deselect all another one they have is this select intersected entities and deselect intersect entities and what that is is if you, you draw a line and anything that that line touches gets selected and so that's kind of handy sometimes and it doesn't matter whether you go left or right it does the same thing um, and here there is a select layer so right now I'll go to red layer and I go select layer and I think it doesn't matter what, which one I go to and once I pick a color so I picked black this time everything is in black here my layer that's called that's zero so I basically I selected layer zero which I use two different colors so I can know which layer is which everything that's on layer zero gets selected it wouldn't matter what the color of it was so matter of fact let's do that we're gonna go back we're going to change uh, that's still layer zero continue action but I'm going to change its color uh, let's make it something different we'll make it blue so I got a blue line right there and uh, with doing that with a blue line now when I go back to select so we, uh, we act like we're going to move I go select layer and I click the black layer uh, even or layer zero even though this line's blue it's still selected I can now do a, a deselect by intersection and uh, I could deselect a couple of those so now if I was going to move things it wouldn't move those two it would move everything else I uh, see I think that's pretty much it you have a deselect window and it works exactly the same as the other window if I uh, left to right it only does the ones that are completely closed uh, right to left it does the ones that are even touched anywhere at all in the window so that's pretty much I think all of the deselect and select functions uh, you've seen them all there and there are these little 
reminders, I forget what they call that, there's a name for that, but when you hold, leave your mouse over top of a particular thing, it tells you what the uh, function is. Uh, when you're doing a big drawing, that slows you down. More key clicks, more time, and you're sitting in front of the computer and like to get your work done. But that's the way it works there. Until you memorize all of those, um, you're pretty well stuck having to wait till the little doodad pops up there. Okay, one other line function I forgot to talk about. Uh, let's go back to lines, to main menu, lines. There's this bi, uh, bisectors. What that does is if you have an angle, uh, you click on one line of the angle, and then you click on the second line of the angle, and it draws a bisector in your current layer uh, of the length that you've got there. You can also do it. Let's undo that one. Yeah, I've undone it. And let's make three bisectors inside that. And let's use bisectors. First line, second line. And you see I got three evenly spaced angles within that big angle. That could be handy sometimes. Let's say you want to do 30 degree angles and you have two lines that are perpendicular to each other, uh, one-third of, thir of 90 is 30, and so you've got your 30-degree angles. It's also handy uh, in a case of like this right here. If I was wanting to uh, draw a perfectly where the cut would be between those boards, and unfortunately I may have not drawn those two concentric with each other, uh, but... Oops, I only want to do one right now. And that line right there would be what the cut would be between those boards. Then I'd have to, uh, since it's drawn too long, I'd have to trim it. And often when you do things like this, you need to, oops, and I did the wrong direction. And that trimmed it. Anyhow, that's pretty much uh, the main stuff I wanted to talk about in this tutorial. It's probably pretty short, but uh, hopefully it was good. Thank you for listening.